<laughs> Cold Heart is alive. Very rarely do I do what I'm going to do right here, which is, uh, I think, just go to three minutes or something if you don't want to hear it. But this the whole track, and I'm going to do some breakdowns on it. It'll never change. <laughs> it's so Cold Heart the Great. No plans on what I was gonna do when I woke up this morning, but I quickly ended up on Monday home. As soon as I started to think what I need to do, quickly he came to go hard, get the money, fool. Your dope supply is getting low, and plus your family need more with your little baby on the We gon' need this world, bro. You gotta know this shit don't change. You rearrange the essence of my brain every time I think my incarceration. I'm about to drop, goddamn it. Listen, take a moment real slow. Puff the end, though, and let your mind go to a place where you rule all, though. And now you feel me, bro, this is paradise. Your essence in the form of I spit it. And if you catch it, it was never written. It was meant to see it for me to eat it. I hit up the track with the cold heart. They was looking, but they didn't see me coming. No way, boy. Yo, bitch, could be my bitch, but I really don't. Appreciate y'all for listening. Let me know if you did get a first ally all the way through. That's why I was showing you nonstop. Uh, now we're going to take the vocals out. And we're just going to play around and let y'all hear the beat. What this mainly is about is called, um, let's go over here to it. It's called, bam, the Hoss Effect. You should know about it right now. I slightly var variate it on mine. Let's flip it over. Show you what happens here. You go one into your splitter. One goes in, so you're getting only the output of the one, and you're getting only the output of the other, which is the left side is straight, the right side is split, or whatever you want to call it, you know. Just, and by split, I mean delayed, I meant to say. They tell you, uh, I think, up to 10 milliseconds or something, but I played with it, and I kind of liked it better at 32 milliseconds for this track. It's good to play with. It's such a simple setup that you can't beat it, and so I'll explain it one more time. So you can get it. What you're doing here is you'll take one of your outs. You're splitting it basically on the input. Then you'll take one of them, run into the uh, delay, your left side or your right side. Run the opposite side, scrape back in. So you're getting a left side slightly delayed or a right side slightly delayed. If it's a close enough millisecond, it won't sound like a delay. It'll actually technically stretch the sound from left to right across the whole sp stereo spectrum. I'll let you check that out by five. What we have right here is we have it on the Maelstrom. And it's a little bus. And let's see if the Maelstrom is making noise now. I bet it ain't. <laughs> let's go flip it over here to where it is in a session. Sorry about that. Where is the Maelstrom? Oh, it's way back here. Okay, here we go. Without it. Oh, it's not even on the Maelstrom. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, it's late at night. I'm, I'm constantly doing this. The second one, I'm kind of flocked up. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I did this earlier on the vocal bus. So much more easier. So we're going to strictly vocals and 
So uh, me as I represent it, now we're gonna go arms on cross. And there, no mitts is down. Crucified the game. It seen me never been the lame. Been spitting games since I was born. My so in other words, it's another way to bring it to the front too, because it extends across from left to right, fully across the spectrum. So this is uh something I used to stay doing on my oh my god, on my buses, all my parallels. Like if you compress the the host effect and then mix it in with the original, it gives it this it's like it's just bringing it so big and then you get the punch of your original coming through the middle and with just a little bit of the um House effect on it, it really get it really will create a quite a sound. Like I tend to house effect uh strings and pianos and things like that. You wouldn't want a house house effect um uh, like drum drums too quick unless it's maybe a snare and you mix it in with the original parallel hi hats or something. But you wouldn't want to do bass too quick or anything with lower spectrums because you're just widening that and it's just gonna suck all the energy out of your track. But it's very good to throw on your um effect bus right here and just kind of throw a couple of them in there and it's just widening up the track I, I really love it next we had the Kong effect we were using uh what we're using off the Kong here we use you yes awesome this here they need to go ahead and break it into a bigger piece uh so I don't have to use the Kong to use it because it's the only one in there and let me tell you the transient shaper is it's something serious. Throw it on some drums and play with it and see what happens. That's why it's in the drum bus. But anything you put it on, you can bring more attack to some strings or take some a little attack away. But that's what this one was all about. The house effect, really. Show you the track. Let you hear it a little bit. Uh, back, this is an older track. So as you see, I was using the pulverizer, which said I was going to do something on the pulverizer. So I will do that next. Cold Hollis Alive, rate and subscribe. Peace.